People with psoas muscle pain often have a bulging belly. People may think that a bulging belly indicates weak abdominal muscles, but look deeper. Tight psoas muscles, whose tendons pass over the inside of the groin and attach at the inner thigh, push the pubic bone back. The upper pelvis tilts forward, the belly hangs forward, and appears to bulge. The way people commonly think about these two conditions, bulging belly and tight psoas muscles, gives rise to the way people treat psoas muscle pain. You can't correct a bulging belly or tight muscles by stretching or strengthening. Here's why. Neither abdominal strengthening nor psoas stretching exercises efficiently changes muscle movement memory. Muscle movement memory determines muscle tone and the shape to which you return after you have stretched, whether in hours or in days. You keep returning to that tension, posture, and shape. To get a lasting change, you need to change muscle movement memory. There exists a way to do that. Correcting the bulging belly. A bulging belly may, and often does, indicate tight psoas muscles, not weak abdominal muscles, particularly if you have a deep fold at your groin that doesn't disappear when you stand tall. When the psoas muscles function properly, they decrease the low back curve and allow the spine and abdomen to fall back. The bulging belly settles back in, giving the appearance of strong abdominal muscles and the feel of a strong, which is to say effortlessly supportive, core. But it's not strength that's being felt, but the feeling of a different trunk shape. High abdominal muscle tone from abdominal crunches drags the front of the ribs down and causes a head forward position. The results, one, impaired breathing, two, compressed abdominal contents with impaired circulation, three, sluggish lumbar plexus function, four, chronic constipation from sluggish lumbar plexus function, five, poor postural alignment, six, poor support. Gravity then drags posture down and leads to seven, muscular involvement at the back of the body to counteract what is an effect, a movement toward collapse. This muscular effort, A, taxes the body's vital resources, B, introduces strain in the involved musculature, for example, the extensors of the back, and C, sets the stage for back pain and back injury. From the foregoing description, it's obvious that Inconvenient consequences result from abdominal exercises, as popular as those exercises are for the appearance of fitness. It's better simply to balance the interaction of the psoas and abdominal muscles.